Hey guys, it's Tina from Ben and Tina Tandem and today's tip of the day on how to break the wall and make your English flow is this small exercise. Let's start. I want you to repeat right after me. The coast of California is a beautiful sight. We're gonna poem that. With the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Now the next time we're going to pronounce it, now you've heard all the words, I want you to put your hands into it. And let's see how are you going to manage. Okay? Let's go. The coast of California is a beautiful sight. With the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Did you get it? <laughs> Let's try to do to do this one more time, but a little faster, okay? Remember about the hands, it's extremely important. I'm going to tell you in the end why, so you will know why it works for you. Let's go. So, the coast of California is a beautiful sight. With the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. And now one more time, a little faster. The coast of California is a beautiful sight. With the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. And last time, let's try to do it real fast. The coast of California is a beautiful sight. With the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Now you've done it. I'm really proud of you. Good job. And now I'm going to tell you why hands are so important in this exercise. First off, the first that you, the first thing that you concentrate on is actually the words. You try to understand them. For the first couple of times, you just get into words. Your mind is really busy, but your mouth is not, and you're pronouncing those words. Uh, the next time you're doing it, and you get your hands to it, you listen to the rhythm. You know the words now, then you listen to the rhythm, and you combine those. The parts of your brain that actually answer to combining these kind of things are busy enough not to get you very stressed about speaking to someone. So you're stressed about combining stuff and just feeling the rhythm, but you're not thinking about speaking to someone. And the third thing that gets to it, connects to it, is actually movement of hands. Your mind, the brain, human brain, cannot get at the same time doing something illogical, because these hands are illogical, and being stressed about speaking to someone. So what you do, you get the stress of yours, take it off the talk, and then you put it into hands, and hands you can control. And after that uh, small and really cool exercise, you try to speak to someone, and you will see how your English will be flowing like a river, because your mind will still be in state of this trying to understand what's going on. Why, why does it have to connect all that? So it will give you about 15 to 20 minutes window of relaxed conversation. If you're going somewhere to speak to someone in English and you feel really stressed, get into the bathroom or some isolated room, some place quiet and nice where you can be alone for a couple of minutes and do the exercise with the tall trees, tall trees, big tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big trees, tall trees, big tall trees. Hopefully it's going to be helpful to you. I hope I was helpful to you. Until next time, see ya. Bye.